Children are the heritage of the love. We are the future. We are the change. I'm the voice that you are been waiting for. I'm the light that you are been waiting for. I'm the hope that you are been waiting for. I'm the strength that. I speak to the world TV reality show. Hello children, how are you today? Hello children, how are you today? Hello children, how are you today? How are you today? Hello children, how are you today? Hello children, how are you today? Hello friends. How are you today? How are you today? Oh! Wow! I'm so happy to be here with you today. So, I welcome you children to today's episode of I Speak to the World online TV program. You'll be wondering, who am I? I'm your very good friend and instructor to be taking you on this ride. Yes, I'm your one and only Miss Stella. So feel free to always call me your friend Miss Stella. On today's episode, I'm going to be teaching you how to become a big a gigantic, a world-renowned orator. You know, if you've heard that word, orator. Now, that will serve as your first task. Get your dictionaries, ask your mommies, your daddies, your siblings, your older ones to help you get the meaning of who an orator it is. I'm not going to tell you that. Okay? So, in our next class, we're going to talk more on that because I believe by then you must have understood better who an orator is. I am an orator. Okay? Yes. And I want you to become a good orator like me. Now, with everything in life you don't just wake up and become what you wish to become there are steps you know like when you climb the stairs one two three four five catching fishes all around six seven eight nine ten then I let the fish away one, two, three, four, five. Catching fishies all around. Three, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let the fish away. <laughs> Whoa! I love that song. Yes. So what was I saying? That as with everything in life, for you to become a good orator, whose voice will be heard all around the globe when you speak you captivate people you get people's attention you don't need to fight or struggle for people to listen to you 
You just, with your voice alone, with your movement, with the way you carry yourself, people want to listen to you. It takes some steps. You have to take one step at a time. And the first step is the way you introduce yourself. I don't know if you got me. The first step to becoming a good orator, a good public speaker, is on the way you introduce yourself. Now, can you show me how to introduce yourself as an orator? Let me start and you follow. Okay, I'm going to introduce myself, though I've done that before, but I'm going to do it again. Good day, children. My name is Miss Stella. Can I hear you say that? Beautiful. I trust you did that just right. Now, I'll take it again. Good day, children. My name is Miss Stella. And I take it again. Good day, children. My name is Miss Stella. Yes. You're one and only Miss Stella. That's just one aspect to it. You let people know your name. How you want them to address you. Do you want them to address you as just anybody? Then you come in and do Good day everyone. My name is Baby Boy. <laughs> and you see? Because you're making the face of a baby boy or a baby girl. But if you want people to address you properly, you introduce yourself properly. Yes? Good day, everyone. My name is Miss Stella, and you are welcome to today's episode of the I Speak to the World online TV program. Did you get the next step? After the introduction of your name, then you welcome them. If you have visitors in your house, you're welcome. Make the environment pleasant so they don't get scared. There's a way you introduce yourself, you end up scaring people. Always wear a smile. Yes, but do not overdo it. And when you introduce yourself, don't introduce yourself feeling tired. Even if you're tired, even if you're hungry, don't let your listeners know how you feel. Because, remember, you have one aim, which is to get them to believe in you. To convince them to believe in what you are saying. And that's it. So, remember, the first step is to introduce yourself, you tell them your name, and you welcome them to whatever it could be an event, it could be a place. Okay, children, I'm so happy to be in your midst today. But 
I need to go on a short break. And when we come back, I'm going to be giving you a task. Yes. You can become a, pu a good public speaker if you do not work hard. And one way to work hard is to make sure you do the task. So, go on, get your pen, get your books ready. When we come back, I'll let you in on what you're going to be doing this week. See you then. I speak to the world TV reality show. I speak to the world TV reality show. Oh, so, welcome back, children. Yes. So, we're going to be engaging in a little activity to show you how you can introduce yourself better. And that will take us to the task for this week. So, just quickly look at me while I demonstrate to you. Good day, everyone. My name is Miss Stella. And I'm here to talk to you about my dream for the world. Good day everyone. My name is Miss Stella. I'm here to talk to you about my dream for the world. Now we're going to take it. Good day everyone. My name is... Right there, you put in your name. My name is Joshua. My name is Maris. My name is Vivian. Can you try that now? Okay. Good day, everyone. My name is Miss Stella. I'm here to talk to you today about my dream for the world. I believe you got that. Now, go back and do it a few more times. Get accustomed to it. And after that, you discover, you try to identify some problems, some challenges in your school. Because your task for the week is going to be centered around that. For this term, we are going to be talking about my dream for the world. What are your dreams for the world? The world does not necessarily mean the global world. It starts right where you are. It starts from your house, from your home. It starts from your school. It starts from your group of friends. It starts from your siblings. So, take advantage of every opportunity you have. Now, for your task, remember, it has to be in your school. Look around your school. Take a look. Identify some challenges and how you hope or how you dream to make those challenges go away. How you dream to make your school better. That is your task for this week. And for the rest of this term, we are going to be talking on the topic, my dream for the world. Yeah, I trust it's been an interesting class. So, take your task seriously because there's a hidden treasure in your task. Make sure to get it done. And that way, you get to the hidden treasure in your team. Alright, see you next time. Keep moving, 
keep dreaming, do not give up on your dreams. Bye-bye! I speak to the world TV reality show.